Hey guys, it's Kayla from La Terraza. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to make this little felt flower here that's part of the vase kit. Now, um, with the vase kit, you can do either acrylic paint, which looks like this one, or glaze that looks like this one. And on your sheet, you'll have some tips for how to do those different um, paints and painting techniques. But I'm just going to show you guys in this video how to make our little felt flower. In your kit, aside from your vase and your brushes and your paint, you'll also be getting three colors for your flower and a pipe cleaner. And you guys are going to need to have your own scissors. All right, guys. So to make your flower, we're going to need to cut our pieces of felt to be in the shape for our petals. And on the handout sheet that you got, you'll have a stencil if you want to cut out your stencil and place it on and trace around it using a marker or something, that's fine. But you can also cut out the petals just on your own in any shape you want. I recommend that you draw it in, in marker or pencil or something first because, you know, once you cut it, you can't really go back and do it again. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So. I'm going to start with my scissors by cutting out some petal shapes out of my felt here. And one thing that is important is you need to make sure that you don't cut your petals all the way so that you have a bunch of cut pieces that are touching. You need some space in the center where the felt is kind of solid and there's a nice big space in the middle where we can put our pipe cleaner through later. So I'm gonna just cut my petals right now onto my one sheet of purple. All right, so there is my first um, flower shape. Now I'm gonna take my lighter purple. I'm gonna leave this for the center. Depending on how you cut your petals, you might wanna make this one a little smaller or maybe make it a little bit different shape. For this one, I'm going to cut a little bit different shape. I'm going to try something new. So this one I'm cutting little bumps. It's kind of more like a cloud shape. All right, I think that looks really nice. And then of course the last thing I'm going to do is cut a circle for my center. Perfect, I love how that looks. Now what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna cut two slits for our pipe cleaner to go through. So I'm gonna take each one here, each piece that I cut out, and I'm gonna fold them in half, and I'm just gonna cut a little tiny slit. Now sometimes you have to kinda go to the furthest inside part of the scissors and cut just a little tiny bit. There we go, that's good. You don't need these to be very big. I'm folding this one in half, and I'm going to try to make these slits about the same distance apart as I did on the first one. And now what I am going to do is take my pipe cleaner, here we go, I'm going to find a slit on each one and put it through. And then that's stuck together. And then you're gonna take just a little bit, see how there's just a little bit left there? You're gonna take that little bit that's left and I'm gonna bend it and I'm gonna put it through the other set of slits that I made. And now it's on there and it's nice and tight. And then to make it stay on, you're going to take the little part that's left. If there's not enough, you can very carefully kind of pull more of the pipe cleaner through without trying to rip the felt. And you can twist this little end of the pipe cleaner, twist it around that stem. Perfect. And it's cute this way, actually. You can even leave it this way if you want and just put it in your vase. I think that will look nice. But if you want these little leaves, I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, guys, so to make your leaves, if you wanna make them and have two, you have to make them pretty small. You can also just do one. To make your two leaves, 
take your pipe cleaner, make a loop, and again, it needs to be pretty small if you want to have two, so I'm just going to have it like that. Take the end of my pipe cleaner, I'm going to pull it through, and just kind of tighten it. So there we go, like that. It's nice. And then you can make another loop, so you kind of pull another loop going the other way. Actually, flip this around actually, there we go. Pull it the other way and then you can pull your pipe cleaner through. And you have your little flower. 